How to lay artificial turf. Difficulty level 1 hammer. Forget about watering and mowing the lawn. Enjoy a beautiful maintenance-free green lawn all year round. Laying a lawn of artificial turf either on a patio or in your garden is an easy job and the result is impressive. You will need adhesive seam tape and special artificial turf mastic adhesive to lay artificial turf on hard ground. For soft soil, you need a bag of trench sand, a roll of geotextile fabric and some long galvanized zinc nails. You will need a yard brush, tape measure, a box cutter and a sealant gun to lay the turf on hard ground. You will also need a rake, a spade, a lawn roller, a nail punch, a wood offcut, a mason's rule and a hammer. Preparing to lay the turf. Sweep the patio area, leaving it clean, smooth and dry. Don't worry about small pieces of an old concrete screed, but you must remove any sharp splinters. Laying the turf. Unroll the artificial turf and lay the first strip, marking the cut line with the box cutter when you reach the end of the terrace. Fold the turf. Place the wood offcut under the cut line and cut the strip to fit using the mason's rule as a guide. Invisible seams. Lay the second strip parallel to the first, paying close attention to the direction of the fibers. The edges of the two strips should be perfectly aligned, side by side. Fluff up the fibers to check and then use a yard brush to hide the seam between the two strips. Continue until you've covered all the patio area. Lay the turf right up to the edge of the concrete patio base. Joining the strips. Once the patio area is covered, fold back the edges of the two strips to be joined by 15 to 20 centimeters. Lay a strip of special adhesive joint tape, remove the backing film and gently press the edge of the turf onto one half of the tape along the full length of the strip. Press the turf onto the other half of the tape, working along the length and fluffing the fibers to prevent them from sticking. Fixing the edges. At the junction with the patio and the walls, the turf is fixed in place using special mastic adhesive. Carefully lift the end of the strip and squeeze a blob of glue every 10 to 15 centimeters on the ground and then on the underside of the turf. Replace the edge and press firmly down to ensure it sticks properly. Getting ready to use the lawn. Use the yard brush to sweep the surface of the turf thoroughly. A garden leaf blower is useful for brushing the fibers of artificial turf. It also helps keep the base of the fibers clean without wearing you out while pushing the yard brush. Preparing the ground. Level the ground, removing all traces of roots and any remaining stones. Pour some trench sand onto the ground and spread it around with a rake so you have a thin layer. Level it as best you can with a mason's rule and then compact it using the garden roller. Cover the surface with geotextile fabric, overlapping the edges slightly, then fix them in place with galvanized zinc nails. Laying the turf. Use the same approach as earlier, laying one strip at a time, paying close attention to the direction of the fibers. Once again, make sure the edges are perfectly aligned side by side. Joining the strips. Fold back the strips, placing the adhesive tape on the geotextile. Remove the backing film and fix the edges together as before, first one side of the turf, then the other. Once the two pieces are stuck together, it's a good idea to secure them in place with a galvanized zinc nail, placed every 40 centimeters on alternate sides. Drive the nails three quarters the way home and finish with the nail punch to avoid damaging the fibers. Fixing the edges. Insert a long galvanized zinc nail in place about every 15 centimeters. Some manufacturers recommend installing joists at the edges so you can nail or staple the turf in place. Pay close attention to the manufacturer's instructions and read the guide carefully on how to lay your turf. Now just sit back and admire your beautiful, perfectly mown lawn.